Hello and a very warm welcome to Orland. We're ready, set and good to go here. It's the fourth time we've been to this beautiful set of islands in the middle of the Baltic Sea. It is the Swatch World Tour returning with the women's semi-finals about to get underway. Hello, welcome to Set Accord FIVB Beach Volleyball Swatch World Tour. Back into open play now. The final double gender event of the season coming up next week in The Hague. We're here though with this joint Sweden and Finland hosting event. And the people who have made their way out into the middle of the Baltic Sea today have had to be treated to a repeat of what was last year's final at this event. It's Brazil versus China. Brazil strangely today wearing red. Juliana and Larissa back in the semis after their... Uh, Let's say poor performance in Klagenfurt, ninth they took there. And they're playing undisguised. They're now partly cloudy, but it's nice and warm enough. There's a bit of a breeze in the air. 19 degrees Celsius feels a little bit warmer down there on the sand. It has been a beautiful sunny weather though all afternoon. Plenty of supporters in, enjoyed a wonderful three-setter with the Swedish men involved against Italy. The passage to the quarterfinals, they didn't quite make it. Brazil have made it, as per usual, they have two teams in this uh, women's final four. Juliana Felix Mertel Silva wears number one for the red clad Brazil team today. Larissa Fronsa is now 29. We'll meet a 74, hoping to get back to her best after that ninth place in Klagenfurt. Chen Shua was a winner here last year, 22 years of age now, a blocker in this partnership with Zhong Xu, who really hasn't shown the same sort of form in defence this tour as we saw towards the end of last season when they were victorious in the final against Brazil. Quick chance to meet the referees, Christoph Wojcinek is from Poland and he'll be assisted by Stefan Demetiev of Bulgaria. Players begin to introduced to the crowd on the court. Late afternoon here, just gone at 5.30 in the afternoon. Now the has gone in, getting a little bit more nippy. Good to see the crowd stayed out, they're about to be treated to what is one of the classics of beach volleyball the last few years. We've seen it on numerous occasions this season, but there's yet to be a win for this Chinese team since they last played Brazil in the final here. The last time they beat Juliana Larissa, of course, the newly crowned world champions, was on this very centre court. I say this very centre court, we've moved up around 100 metres from where we've been in the last few years. Right in front of the uh, hosting hotel here, the Archipelag. But we have our usual cheerleaders around. No Swedish or Finnish teams to cheer on in this women's final four. China, Brazil, Brazil and the USA. It all gets underway here. We'll get set, ready and go in Orland for our fourth women's tournament. Brazil loses of the toss. They will serve first. Here comes Larissa Franca. Set wide to Larissa. Nice cut shot. Good point put on serve straight away by Brazil. China failing to side out the first ast. Larissa again float serving, going a little long. You can hear the roar of angst as it went way beyond the deep line. Zhong Xu will now serve. Left-handed as usual, just a float serve. Was jump serving here last year when uh, China did get the better of this Brazilian team as Juliana gets the better yet again and sides out quite nicely. Nice high setting from Larissa. Usually wins the best setter award. It's about this time of year when all the votes begin to be cast. The Peers Awards. Zhong Xiu will rise to attack this one. Chance for Brazilian counter-attack. And then it's well dug out by the Chinese. Oh, and it's poked home beyond Juliana. As Larissa shows her ranks for the first time. Not taking it long. 2-2. That was the first bit of defending. Nicely done. Wasn't enough to win them the point, though. That's so long from Chen Shua. Larissa into the net. 
Well, exchange of yeah. points here, early doors. Both sides uh, keen to have a look at each other. Last time they met was uh, a few weeks ago in Stadia Blanca in Poland. More about that match in a minute. This is Zhang Xu, though. Once again, Juliana the target. Goes on the poke chance for Chanda to counter-attack here, though. It's done quite nicely. Off the block of Juliana, she couldn't repel it the other way. 4-3 China at the first side change. And here's the left-handed attack again, just about squeezing it in. Brazil looking to side out. Unbeaten this week. China have been beaten already once by uh, Talita Antonelli. And in straight sets. Sent into the loser's bracket and uh, had to overcome yet another match. Five three as there's a net touch from Larissa. Juliana once again the target of the Chinese serve. They have a game plan. She's reacting fairly nicely. Still within a point. Juliana Sermal, now looking to attack down the line. Nicely read. Chong Shi is there. Oh, Larissa going again, but way behind the line. The pass, uh, not a good one. It's along the back foot all the way through there. So, 6 4 China. Oh, we're squeezed over there so often. You get the look of the draw, and they might just have the legs to crawl over. It's all suddenly level. Not even ten of a minute, really. Error from the Chinese, backed up by another. Was there? No. Chan for response okay, uh, off the block this time. Okay. This time China will get the point. They'll have the serve back, and it's seven-six. Juliana trotting off, a little disappointed with herself. Had the Chinese where they wanted them. They're right in the corner. Just a little gap for them to exploit, though. Just about dug out by Juliana. An unforced error gives China the lead back. 8-6 now. And I mentioned the match in Poland just a couple of weeks ago. A match that China, looking back, will really feel they should have won as uh, the Orlando public are treated to another meeting between two of the world's top teams. Three sets that match in Storia Blanca. China in control for the most part. Suddenly, inexplicably, decided to change tactics. Started serving to Larissa and she got them out of the game. Here comes Larissa. Fine space. Then she unable to hold on. She repelled one attack. Couldn't quite get the second. That was good defence in the backcourt too from Zhong Xu. This time the jump on the block. Didn't get anywhere near enough the right timing. So 7-8 with uh, Juliana. Serving to Zhong Xu. Up on that left arm. Tactics work really well. That is until there was the error from Juliana on hit. Big touch on the net there. It was bouncing around for quite a few seconds afterwards. Easy enough for the referee to give the decision. There's been some talk this week by some of the players that they're a bit disappointed with the inconsistency of some refereeing decisions certainly yeah. as far as double touches and carrying is concerned just a point you think not to hand a call anything like that so far Larissa it's down the line Zhongshu is there left hand the roll down 
So we'll meet in the game. The space open up Brazil. Not at their best. They keep in touch with the Chinese. Going nicely so far. That will go into the net. That will end up uh, quite a bit of a disappointment really for Brazil. Another scream of anger there from the Rissar out of your picture. Certainly audible on the effects, mate. Flatter from Zhang Shu once more in towards Juliana. Oh, when she's fell the side out. That's why they keep serving to her. It's a tactic that worked for them in the match in Poland. And if you look at the overall head-to-head, -head, though, it's the Brazilians that have the clear advantage. 19-1. Six lost in their 25 previous meetings on the World Tour. Oh, 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 the push. John oh, oh, chance to repel and hits oh, hard. Oh, Continues to hit right through the ball to take them to technical timeout. 12 9. Advantage China. As we're halfway through this first set. We're just settling in. See the uh, Baltic Sea behind. Cafe up there too. It's going to be windy up there. It's not deterring the enjoyment of most people. These two perhaps not enjoying it. These two at the moment certainly are. Chinese team who played in London last week. Big favourites along with Jen Kess and April Ross to win the tournament. Surprisingly, despite being second seeded in London, in what was officially classed as a challenger and satellite event, the FIVB Visa Beach Volleyball International, finished fifth the Chinese team. Brazilian and Chinese colours in, all supporting teammates and friends. You're just tuning in, just a reminder, China playing in white here today. Brazilian red. Don't ask us why. But it's not mattering. White becoming a good, good colour, certainly for China. 13-9, Juliana having a bit of a nightmare here. They remember, they need to remember, to stick with their tactics when it's working for them. Where it's gone wrong in the past. Nice high set from Larissa, not an easy one to execute there. Give things not easy, it's good defending. Trying to keep themselves in the point, Larissa will look to attack. Chen Xiu with the first response. And for a second, Zhong Xiu to hit. Larissa, Chen Xiu, Zhong Xiu again. And finally the decision goes the way of China. A mammoth rally there. Julian Larissa not happy with Christoph Wojtyk. Brazil have taken time out. And it's carrying that's given against uh, Julian and Larissa, a few perplexed faces I can say in the crowd after that one. I'm not sure if we get another look at the touch in question. Well, that's the result of the decision. They're not happy. Time out time. Very rarely do you see them not talking to each other. But this is one of those rare occasions. Where do they go from here? Maybe it's just the all and sand when they're playing against these two. Lost the final last year. They proceeded to have a bit of a nightmare in the wind and rain swept Hague before they ended their season. To a championship had already been long confirmed. There's the double touch in question. It's quite clear. Christoph Wojnjetik had every reason to give that decision. Some will argue it was driven. You see harder driven balls. As they try to make sense of it, young and old. Larissa changes the angle of the Brazilian attack and it's Juliana, nicely set up for Juliana to hit cross court. Nice effort on the angle. Here we go again, Larissa setting wide. Dragging China all the way across to the line. So much space to aim. A wide of the block of Juliana. Good comeback of sorts by Brazil, but they need to complete the job here. So within three points now. 14-11 score. Juliana serve. Marisa, as usual, will wait in the backcourt whilst Juliana serves and goes to have a block. 
be up against the person she wants to be up against and gets what she wanted anyway. Well, that time out looks to have sorted her out. Great run of three scoring points for Brazil. Fancies her chances against Zhongshu. Not been happening up to now, though. Here she goes again. Has her in the corner. Larissa down to the rescue now. This is going to be a fourth on the trot for Brazil. It is. Lovely hammer down the line. And it's no surprise now to see China calling timeout. Well, two huge swings in the match. Just when it looked as though Julian Larissa were having a real off day. Then they come and do this. Larissa back on form with a hit right on the money. So then, a couple of minutes ago, it was all going brilliantly. Now they need to react. This is where the mental game becomes important. Something we won't tire of saying as far as Julian Larissa are concerned. They are the best in the business when it comes to outthinking and out-toughing opponents as far as the mental game is concerned. So 13-14, set one in semi-final number one. Brazil versus China. Julian Larissa, are the world champions. Favourites just about for Olympic gold next year. Against one of the teams who took bronze last time in Beijing. Yet another point does complete the Brazilian comeback from five down. It's looking like China's set. Juliana reaching over again. In the good sense, that is. Zhongshu still the target. Oh, brilliant stuff on the block. Juliana suddenly turned into the player we all know she can be. The FIVB Swatch World Tour, most outstanding player last year. Hang Sai. And eye coordination. John's going to hit and hit hard. Oh, China in desperate requirement of something like that. Now we're in the game. 15 points apiece. The playing field has been flattened once more. Once more, there's that change on the angle. This time, they continue the same sort of direction where it was going all the way, working it from right to left cross court as we looked at it. Instead of changing, Hitting on the angle, she went line. That's better. Chen Shui. It's a routine of side out of the last two points. 16 points each. We're already getting to that sort of stage where mistakes really do count. Tong Shui just drops it short. Very, very good serving. Juliana reacted nicely. She's unable to hit the baseline of the court. China talked about the mistakes. Rather than Juliana just committing one, it's uh, one that's been forced upon them, really. Had to be commended for the way she defended the serve. And there's those double touches we're talking about. Just off what you think. Not too much argument from Larissa this time. Let's have a look. Ball seems to be spinning away as it came out of the hands. Clear sign of double contact. This time the setting is better. And the finish matches it. So 17-18. China though, safe in the knowledge that if they can slide out here, they have that magic two-point advantage. Sure. We played a hard match against the Brazilian team this afternoon, China. The losers' quarter final. Salgado sisters beaten 17 15 in a very tight third. If Brazil are going to do it here, it looks as though they might well have to go to a third. Yet again, this time in the guise of Juliana Larissa. to make that one after getting the touch on the way through first time out. 
Larissa. Juliana really has to make this, but it's the block that's made by Jin Shua that brings up set point. China having a five point lead, blowing it at one stage, but they're back in front again. And will now be serving for the set. Jin Shua down the line. Net touch, Juliana getting a little mixed up there. Miscommunication between the two Brazilians. Eventually it's sorted out. There's still two set points to defend for Juliana Larissa. Is Larissa. Need some magic here, Brazil. Jongsha hits. Chance for Juliana. Well, she set it up nicely. Larissa hammered home. Chin sure couldn't live with it. Now we're talking. Well, China gonna in to see another sizable lead squeezed out once more. Surely not twice. World Championship team will come and come again you again and again though no day back uh, on this occasion set point is carried through at the third time of asking 21-19 Brazil if they're to reach the final yet again in Orland they played in all three previous ones having won two and lost one well they'll have to do it in three because uh, China take the first 21 points to 19 So one of a couple of double touches pulled up in the uh, first set there by the referee. First set there that had a couple of momentum swings in it. Two big ones, in fact, both for five points. China ahead by that amount. Brazil swinging it back almost straight away off a timeout. Perfect demonstration of how to make the timeout work for you. There's a weapon to use in a set. China will be looking to push this on in straight sets, though. They were ahead in Poland. They made the mistake of changing tactics and letting Juliana Larissa back into things. Juliana wide. Referee saw a touch there. And he'll give the point to, to Brazil. Here was the touch off the fingertips, in fact, of Chen Shua. I've had a battle this week, China. What a piece step. Three three set matches for China this week. Brazil have only just dropped their first set. Don't play for much longer than half an hour. It's been uh, turn up and win quite simply for the world champion so far. Big test this one though. A big rivalry they have with the Chinese girls. Demonstrating the fact that Zhang Xu dies for everything there before killing the ball stone dead in front of Juliana. China ahead. What a nice way to do it. China got past Kazakhstan, Australia, Germany, and two Brazilian teams so far. This is their third consecutive match against the top nation in the history of beach volleyball this week. There might be a few Americans at home disputing that, but of course the medals are the stories. In this watch to a history, say it all. They sort have of walked off with a majority of them. Set up by Larissa. Juliana the hit, though. Over in two. Attempted a kill on two by Chen Shua. Can't follow it up with a block. Larissa and Juliana have a point back. Squeezing through the gate in the end. Off one arm, off the other. And into the set. Bump high for Zhongshu. 
Juliana read it well. Larissa's is there to finish off, but again they come back. Great character shown by Brazil. Good opportunity out for China to try to set themselves in the second set. Certainly having taken the first. Brazil deny them. At this point, then go to a side change. And shoot. Juliana delighted to get the point. And it's an attack that wasn't seen too favourably by the referee. Open hand. Not too easy to spot the replay right under the referee's nose, though. Here is that side change. Brazil from right to left. In red, remember today. Zhong Shu. It's all over my frustration of the last decision out on the ball there. It worked as well. Worked via the net. Wasn't the most aesthetic of hits. Float served by uh, Chen Shua. Followed up by the block. Oh, that's good tactics from China. Got Julian exactly where they wanted her. Floating deep in the court. Made sure she had to hit from well behind the net as well. Always giving the blocker that bit more of an advantage. This time it's high setting from Larissa. Almost put a partner in trouble there. Well, it's recovered the by team. Juliana. Well, Larissa set, I'm not sure if we'll see it here. Just goes a bit wider than Juliana was expecting. It was before that one. The second set, nothing wrong with that one. It's an easy kill in the end. 5-5 five, five, though. Serve down the middle. Husband and wife territory. China don't respond the way they wanted to do. 6 5 Brazil. Those of you tuning in for the second semi final as well. We'll have Brazil versus USA coming up a little later on. Talita and Antonelli against Misty Man, Kerry Walsh. Julian in the meantime, the hit on the angle and open up a lead for Brazil. Seven points to five. Rising, arching back. No chance for Zhongshu. Every chance there, though, because it's a very, very well left ball. Watched all the way by Chen Shu. Mistake, an unforced one as well, but the first from Juliana today. Getting back a little. Just trying to pinpoint the ball right in the corner on the angle. She's going to have to go 10, 15 centimetres too long. Cross-court block signal to Larissa. She's going to block line to Juliana. Hence the reason Zhong Shu was waiting cross court. Block unsuccessful. Result is a point to Brazil. Zhong Shu rising, hitting right through the ball. That is a super spike if you ever saw one. She's one of the top exponents of the spike. Again, a bit disappointed to see a slightly off form for the majority of this season. We've seen London last week as a huge opportunity to get what will be a prestigious title despite the uh, lack of any real prize money there, certainly in comparison to the Swatch World Tour. Upset. Not able to have a real high swing at that. Juliana was there to win the block. But at the second time of asking, it was poked home. Oh, 
No getting that back. No getting that back whatsoever. Diana finished better than a silver with all of her might through the balls. Some powerful hits on show here. Two powerhouse teams. Heavyweight to the game, Brazil, China. John Shirt up against the huge obstacle. Usually is Juliana Felix Berta da Silva. Just a couple of key blocks today, in fact, that one. Unsure as to whether she's touched it. I think it's come straight back off the top of the net. Big pointless for China. Either stay in touch with one or go three down. Larissa will keep Brazil in it. We'll have another chance, but here comes the Chinese counter attack. And there's Larissa once more. Nicely done. Needs to be passed. Larissa down the line. This time it's hit home. And a wonderfully contested point is brought to a crushing end. We'll have that for defending. One, two, three's the pass. This is the, is the moment that it's finished. Deadly spiking. Juliana and Larissa will be feeling good on their way back into this match, so Phil. Remember, they're a set down. Just edged out by two points in the first. First set that really was at odds with how they played this week. China in form, great form, without really winning anything for the last few uh, weeks. This week it's been a battle. They're up, but down in the second. Played the final in Klagenfurt. With this Chinese team beat by Misty Bay and Kerry Walsh. Played the final in Stad. So final in Sanya. Three finals, three losses this year. The last time they won an event on the Swatch World Tour was in Sanya at the end of last season in October. Followed up their win in Orland. Seven gold medals in total for this Chinese team. Brazil this week. They're going for their 42nd as a team. Ten twelve service into Juliana. It's good, but it's even better place inside it out. Nicely done. <laughs> Temperature that's dropping as well in the last ten fifteen minutes or so. I'm not really cold here. What effect in those players? Already nice and warmed up. To keep moving though. Yeah. Chen Shui hitting right through the ball. Great response by Larissa. She though fails the kill. However, she's been given the point. Touch from China. It's a net touch. Oh, it's away for China to retain serve. Just rolled into space. Brazil will have their three-point lead. They can side out for four, in fact, here. We're on the way to forcing a third set. Larissa's is down. Up here to try and get the finish. Very wide, looking for the hit on the angle. First touch just about legal, given the fact that it was driven so, so hard at Chen Shui. Zhong Xu was uh, nowhere near it, really, in terms of making the second touch of the pass. 15-12. Larissa and Juliana starting to look a little angry again, which is uh, when they're at the best. No way back from that one, though. It really was a thunderbolt. She's improved the spiking this year, Chen Shui. Improved their all-round game, in fact. Was the more inconsistent player of the two last year. Brazil will have another chance with Larissa. Zhong Shu's there. It'll be bumped up for her on the left hand here, remember. And a gift in the end. After Larissa's reception, Julian unable to fill it up.
There we go. Pouncing on the loose ball. To take China back to within two points. Well, as you can see, the wind getting up. Not quite Hawaiian weather, despite the flowers. That serve was not what China needed, that. Need a momentum run, run of points. Good serve, my ladies. Plenty of power in it, too. Juliana performs a good defence. That's what we made towards the net, and we hit right through the ball by Chen Chua. That's good beach volleyball from this Chinese team. The gate wide open there, Juliana. Oh. And Juliana has the serve back. This is how. Regulation hit on the angle. Normally, say she'll put those home all day, but we've seen her perform a couple of unforced errors in those sorts of positions today. Nicely placed, really nicely done. Well, Juliana's looking at a different player again now. She's sliding out quite nicely. as uh, Larissa will take down chance for Brazilian counter-attack. Base home, there's only one way we're going here, and that's to three sets. 19-15. Not only the score, but uh, the way the body language is looking, China looking like they've already conceded this. Add an ace into the equation, and we'll bring up set point even quicker than they're expecting. Right on the line, as you can see. Perfect placement from Larissa. China, in the meantime, have taken time out. Well, have that one. No comeback there. Crowd slowly rise to their feet. Realisation that it's set point, but also realising that uh, they've got a few seconds before they need to clap on to set point because China have taken time out. Thank you, it's often used if there's still one in the bag. Just try and force the opposing team into a few nerves, make them make the mistake. Brazil, and, uh, what is a rare occasion here, just uh, standing still on court, deciding that they don't need to sit down. Crowd in the meantime, pumping up the volume. Larissa Fronza cross court in towards Zhong Xu. Looks to respond and does so. Still a long way to go here though for China. Brazil were in a similar position here in the first set. Pulled it back to a certain extent, but couldn't quite save the set. The wind influencing things. And the block influencing things even further. <laughs> Nicely done by Chen Chu. He what I said a moment ago, they need a few more of those before Juliana Larissa will really start to worry though. Three set points still. There's a set, goes wide and hit home nicely by Juliana. Brazil are back in it, 21-17. It is one set apiece, and we're going to decide at a 15 to see which of these two sides will contest the Orland final 2011. Lisa and Chen, the coin toss that will decide. Of course, which side takes service and which side takes which side, in fact. 
for this third set. Side of the court, of course, Brazil, China. And we have Brazil, USA still to come in our second semi-final. Our women's final and bronze medal match we play tomorrow afternoon. Men's semis to come before the men's final. And both medal matches coming up on Sunday afternoon. That's the schedule here in Orland. We're hoping that the sunshine stays along for the ride as well. We're going to uh, very much a different atmosphere and a different spin on things. Certainly as far as these guys are concerned. Don't want to be sitting out in the cold. They're jogging up and down, keeping warm and enjoying themselves. Which team will have enjoyed this match the most though? I think that is yet to be decided. Certainly be decided on the score. Number 26 medium between these two teams. 19 wins for Juliana and Larissa, 6 for Chen and Jong. Larissa serves. Left hand of Jong Shu. China side out immediately. Good solid start. Just re to regain a bit of momentum and confidence at the start of this third set. Having lost the second. So often you see the teams that have won the second set go on to push it home in the third. Pump up for Zhong Chu, two from two. The adrenaline's throwing again. Well, looking at the three set matches they've played this week, they lost the first set on each and every occasion, in fact. It's the first time they've gone to three, having won the first set this week, China. It's a different way in terms of their approach. But they free off the spin, and Brazil are going to start thinking about timeout here. They're already arguing with each other. This time it's a block from Chen Shuo. And I think they enjoyed it. Set up for Juliana. Pass towards the net, finds Zhong Shu. Juliana finds her blocking four. And Brazil are off and running in this third set. Well, they needed that. Danger running away from them, though. Still have two points to claw back. Up this towards Zhong Xu. She just lift it. Again, in a good sense with the roll. on the ball to kill it before uh, Larissa could get there in the back court. Side changes at five points in these uh, third sets to 15. Full one. Chen Shua who served. Well after the defence flew straight back over the net, Brazil able to set themselves up again. They bring Larissa back on to serve. This is how they did it. Juliana putting the ball with the outside of her hand. Husband and wife serve territory. Both thinking of going for it. In the end, they just about yeah, sorted yeah, themselves yeah. out in time there, the Tinies. Yeah. Wide. Juliana. Not having too many problems to roll it down the line there. Oh, it's long. Oh, that is a big, big miss for Chen Shua. Glorious chance to hammer home. Nobody at the net for Brazil. In the end, it's 4 5 when they were hoping it could have been 6 3. So fine are the margins here on the Swatch World Tour. Chen Chua. Push just wide. Doing the business though. Oh, 
Juliana off the block of Chen. Brazil are still there or thereabouts. Chong takes down, it was a vicious serve. That is a serving well, in fact, today. One of the few parts of the game that's gone the, the right way for the Brazilians. Aiming for the hand of uh, Juliana there, just in case it was going to fly out. She'll float serve here, but float serve long. Quick call of out for Brazil. Just in case the referee and lines people didn't see it. Good eyesight to spot that, though. Well, that's better. That is much better from China, reasserting their authority. Everything about that smash shed authority all over it. And the arch, the powerful hit through the ball. Good solid defending by Jonk. To improvise a little on the ball to keep it in. Let it all hit though. No, no improvisation needed there. Just a big old thwack through the ball. So into one point again. It's turning into a tense old affair here. They're generally close matches between these two teams. Certainly not too much to separate them. The wind continues to get up. Affects microphones now. The flags are uh, flying quite gracefully above the stadium. Each and every colour of each and every nation being shown as China and Brazil try to show off their nation's talents on centre court. Oh, husband and wife serve sort of doing the business. China now have three points. Brazil now have that extra bit of work to do. Well, they would be really angry with themselves here. They take time out. But if they get themselves back into the match and can't carry it through in the third, there will be real questions asked between Juliana and Marissa. Remember, they had ninth in Klagenfurt. Their big idea would have been to bounce back and take the win here. The likelihood is that they will end their international season next week, as uh, the Brazilians usually do in The Hague. Not generally sending their top teams to the Asian events in the autumn. Of course, the Brazilian domestic tour, by nature of it being summer down there, all begin in September, October time. It is almost a year round pursuit, certainly for Brazil, the way the seasons work out. International tour in their winter, domestic tour in summer. Remember, all events just as important as each other at the moment, building up to the Olympic Games in 2016 in Rio de Janeiro. Marissa, Juliana, one point called back. So the timeout really worked for them in set one. Didn't need one in the second. Such, uh, quite their dominance. Certainly the general feeling they seem to betray that it was uh, calm and fairly a done deal in terms of getting themselves back into the game. Never looked like losing the second. China, though, still looking good here, despite the strong defence from Larissa. Into two, into the block and out. China restoring that three-point lead. Zhongshu. Off the left hand of Juliana. Super service, swinging and swerving. In the end, it was a very good response from Juliana. Really has to be commended for that. Down digging to her left. Up quickly to finish off with a roll shot down the line. Eleven nine China. Oh, well done. 
block to add into the mix, and again, the Brazil somewhere somehow find that little bit extra. And the crowd will be looking forward to the possibility of a rematch of the World Championship final. Misty May and Kerry Walsh against Julian Larissa if they can manage it. China, though, might have something to say about that, and they say it pretty forcefully. It is the big uh, left arm of Zhongxu. Goes on this time. They can carry on sliding out, though. They have that two-point magic gap. We need three more side outs to win the match from here. Yeah. Brazil still with the pressure on. Good serving from Juliana. Down on the line. Larissa's there, Juliana's there, but the contact's not good enough. Larissa's always asking more of a partner. This time, though, she seems to accept it with a little better humour. Perhaps rarely recognising her own mistake in failure to make the first one. Excellent placement from the Chinese. Set wide. We'll change on the angle, but that doesn't deter the block. And it's hanging high, blocking hard, and bringing up max point from Jin Shua. She blocked cross court. Okay, with the tactics that were always going to be used. Certainly when you saw the Jong looking to defend the line. Chen serving for the match, getting the net serve, but uh, getting it in the wrong sense as it went against her. Sometimes they do go for you and squeeze over. But thought about it, didn't it? Float serve from Larissa this time, abandons a jump serve. And there is the win, though. It's all about Orland for China. They hadn't beaten Juliana and Larissa since their match in the final on this very centre court 12 months ago. They played six matches since then, all of them won by the world champions. Today, though, in three sets, it is China who win the semi and advance to tomorrow's final. It has been a long time coming. Now they're in it for the fourth time of the season. Can they finally pick up a gold medal? Oh, we'll see that tomorrow. Today, though, has been a very, very strong performance. Juliana Larissa, they're giving their all. Their all on this occasion wasn't good enough. 21-19, 17-21, 15-12 in the end. Two sets to one, it goes the way of Schwa and Jock. So they're smiley girls at the worst of times, but at the best of times, right now, those smiles doubled. They really do enjoy their beach volleyball. They'll be enjoying it that much more tonight. Well, if they win tomorrow, then these celebrations really will start. The crowd for the moment have been treated. In the meantime, it's uh, a typical that it's a debrief for Juliana. Who sits there offering uh, the odd bit of uh, advice. Uh, some of the best moments of uh, what we've seen in this first semi-final. We'll be back though in just a few minutes. Remember, it is Brazil versus USA for more action here from Orland. For now though, we'll leave you with these best moments of Brazil being beaten by China in two sets to one.